when you're not in front of people. And for me, that was worship. For me, I worship Wednesday nights, I worship Sunday mornings, and sometimes I'll worship Thursday nights, and that's it. And like, then I listen to whatever music I want, and it, music is fun. It should be fun. But hearing them say that, I was like, I'm not living that. I'm, I'm like trying to be authentic through where I am, but like, I can't build a relationship with God if I'm doing it in these scenarios. Where I've heard that a thousand times as a pastor, because you can't just do stuff at church. It has to be like throughout your whole life. But just thinking about Bible reading, okay, so if I'm reading even four scriptures on a Sunday on the big screen, I need to be taking that time to be digging into the word. If I'm praying for every meal, I need to take that and be praying for my school and be praying for the people around me and the future. So I just like, one, got this calling that I should do worship, kind of, I think. I'm still like sketchy because, I don't know, I'm growing in, listening to God. And also just that we need to be authentic. And I feel definitely me like in school, it's not... I like try to be authentic, but then I see like, oh, this group of friends I'm acting differently around, and then I come to youth group and I'm great. And I didn't consciously think about that until this week, and I just think that's something that we can all take something from, just like to try to be authentic and try to take the time to do stuff you don't like. They said that like, yeah, it's a relationship, and if you have a best friend and you get in a fight with them, it's difficult to keep it going. And for me, I cannot read. Like, I literally have never read a book in my life except a picture book. And I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna do it. So I read the Bible and it was like, what am I doing here? But then I kept doing it and like, already, it's been not even a week, but like already I'm like, wait, I kind of want to get my Bible reading in today, even if it's just 10 minutes or whatever. So yeah, just great. <laughs> cool, thanks, Ethan, anybody else? Tahira or Rosie? I can see them on the phone down there. Hera's saying something. Wait, can you put her up to the mic? Yeah. Hold on, Hera. Yeah. Here, I'll hold her out like this so she can see everybody. That's the other way. Oh. It should have been that way. Can you speak? Can you hear me? Yeah. I prayed for the first time, like, audibly for Rosie. And I just felt like God really like moved in me that day. So yeah. Yeah, take the next step. Come on. She's in Georgia. That's how much people love you. Oh, that's awesome. It's too hot. Anybody else? Otherwise, May? Did you have something? I'm not going to force you up here. This is like this is the first year in like three years I haven't been sick, so. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I have to touch that mic next. Okay, so most of you guys know that I'm new to youth group. I didn't start coming until like I think a few months ago, but my relationship with God really changed over camp, and I found myself like getting emotional for the first time because of my like. I just really felt the Holy Spirit move me and it made me really emotional when I was listening to like Reggie talk and everybody was praying for each other and especially Wednesday night I just was like wow like this is where I'm meant to be and I feel like I really need to start doing more because like Ethan said I act so much different or I'm like my youth group friends versus like my school friends and I talk different and I feel like I need to just like be consistent and I need to show all them like God's love and I need to like spread that to them because I feel like it really helped me this past few months and I feel like it really changed me and I, camp was just such an amazing experience for me because of that. So I, this isn't like directed at either of you if we just shared. Um, there's a song that Heather would probably know. It's by a band called DC Talk. Um, the, if you guys have ever heard of Toby Mac, he was one of the lead singers of DC Talk back in the day. Um, and the song is called What If I Stumble? And the very beginning of the song is like some, like it's like a pre-recorded thing. Well, it's a song, obviously it's pre-recorded. But you know, it's like somebody else's words. And it says, the, the greatest single cause of atheism is Christians who acknowledge Jesus with their lips, but deny him by their lifestyle. 
And I love that you two are recognizing that you need to live the same way everywhere. Because if Jesus is Lord of your life here, he needs to be Lord of your life there. If he's your Savior here, he is your Savior there. And your lifestyle should reflect that everywhere you go. So I'm not saying that you guys have caused people to be atheists. That's not what I'm trying to get. I'm just like, like it matters the way we live our lives. Not that our, the way we live our lives saves us, but the way we live our lives reflects who God is and what he's done for us. So, anyways, that was just in my head as you both were speaking. Anybody else? Otherwise, Caleb, oh, okay, all right. Okay, so um, I think maybe a good majority of people in this room know that I am going into my freshman year of college this upcoming year, um, and I'm going with an undecided major. I thought for a while I knew what I wanted to do, and then plans didn't work out, so I just decided to go undecided. And with camp, it was just so moving, and I think, I think I'm finally getting that call from God that I want to go into some sort of ministry, um, whether it's like worship or youth or something with kids, just something within that department, I don't know. But um, I just, it's been weird, because like for a while, like I never really liked praying out loud. Like I, it just made me uncomfortable, and like, because I, like, I knew kind of, so I just like didn't really ever get much practice with it. But like Wednesday night, it was just so moving for me. And I felt like I really like, like I all camp, like whenever I would pray out loud for people, I never knew what I was gonna say. And then I would just start talking. And like, I just, I let the Holy Spirit just take me in and just use me to pray for those around me. And it was just wonderful. So yeah.